Hello lovelies, I'm Christina and today I'm sharing 10 new and upcoming releases that I'm really excited to get to. Now, as of this moment, I don't own any of these books. I've ordered one of them, but I really want to get my hands on these as soon as they come out or in the near future. The first one I'm going to mention is the one that I've already ordered and one that I've already talked about in my Blabber video, and that is Uncommon Types by Tom Hanks. It's a collection of stories of different kinds of people, uncommon types. So it's gotten some mixed reviews, but I'm still really excited to make up my own mind about it. Next up is a book by our very own YouTuber, Jen Campbell, and that is The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night. This is also a short story collection. It's said to be dark and very magical, and I've heard nothing but great things about it. And the cover is so... it's just gorgeous. Well done to Jen and the team that she's worked with. I, I love it already, and I don't even have it yet. Another book that comes out on November 2nd is a non-fiction book by another YouTuber and that is Secrets of the Mad by Dodie Clark. Dodie Clark is a singer, songwriter and a YouTuber. She's adorable. I love her work and I love her songwriting. So from what I've come to know about this book is that writing is kind of her coping process whenever she feels like life is a bit too complicated and a bit too much. So I'm really interested to see how she goes about her writing in this and if her uh, book writing is as good as her songwriting, then I'm thinking this is going to be a really wonderful read. Next one is the only one that I kind of own, but not in a physical copy, and that is Strange Weather by Joe Hill. It is a collection of four novellas set around the uh, theme of strange weather. Some of them are very mysterious, magical, and some are not. I'm listening to this one on Audible and I'm on the fourth story right now. I'm really enjoying it and I look forward to reviewing it for you guys. Next up is another short story collection. I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. It's gonna be a lot of short story collections in the future. But next one is The Overneath by Peter S. Beagle. Peter S. Beagle is the author of The Last Unicorn, a book that I read earlier this year. I didn't really love it, but I thought that his writing was really good. So I'm gonna give him another go. This one is supposed to be set around the same world that The Last Unicorn was set in, and to be honest, that book made such a little impression on me story-wise that I hardly remember anything. The only thing I remember was during reading it, I was thinking like, oh, this is really beautifully written. So this is supposed to be a collection of stories from the same world with new characters. We'll see how that goes. That's not one that I'm really stressing about getting my hands on, but I still do want to read it. The next one is The Secret Life of Souls by Jack Ketchum and Lucky McGee. This is a psychological suspense novel. It is revolving around a dog, really, and the... Uh, emotional aspects of a dog. The story is set around Delia, a child actress who is on the brink of making it big and then something really dramatic happens that puts her life in danger I think and her dog Katie is really the only thing that can save her. So it sounds wonderful, it sounds really interesting and you know, I, I love dogs. Next up we have a poetry collection by another YouTuber that I discovered quite recently and that is Orion Carlotto. She is uh, publishing a book that's called Flux and it is a selection of poems revolving around heartbreak and breakups and I thought it sounded really interesting and after I started watching a lot of her videos I really fell in love with her kind of poetry, the melancholy, the very truth in her heartbreak. I just thought it was really interesting and I'm looking forward to diving into this one. I have two more poetry collections here. The next one is I Wrote This For You 2007-2017 to 
by Ian S. Thomas. Now, he started writing poetry on a blog and then it became a book and then it became a second book and now it is, I'm thinking, a collection of these two books. Not sure if it's going to be new material. I've just read a few of the poems that he's written but I think they're really beautiful so I am curious to see them all together and to see what I think of them as uh, a collection. The last poetry collection that I'm going to mention is one called Earthling by James Longenbach. It is his poetry writing about the feelings of being a tiny earthling in this vast universe and how he sees his little patch of the world and the life that he's living. It sounds super interesting and I'm very excited to get to it. The last book that I'm going to mention is one that I'm going to have to wait for for a while but when I heard of it I was still just as excited and that is a new Stephen King book. I know, right? This one is called The Outsider. It is a thriller crime novel. Thriller and crime is really not my genre, but I did really enjoy the Bill Hodges trilogy, which is more on the crime side than on the supernatural horror side. So I'm thinking this is going to be interesting as well. I don't really know much about the plot yet. I know it's about a kid that gets murdered and it's what happens in this town. I'm thinking it's going to be a town in Maine <laughs> after this kid is murdered and a man is accused of the murder. So it's going to be interesting. If this could get me into the genre again, that would be awesome, but we'll see. So there you have it. Those were 10 books that just came out or is coming out pretty soon, except for the Stephen King one that's going to be a few months of waiting for. But I'm very excited about all of these and I can't wait to get to them. Let me know if there are any new or upcoming releases that you are excited about. As always, I will link to all of the books that I mentioned in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video soon. Goodbye!